Hello everybody, my today's topic is cooperative society. The word cooperative means working together for a common purpose. Now let's begin with the definition. It says it refers to voluntary association of persons who join together with the motive of welfare of members. That means people are working together, they are joining it voluntarily and it says that it has a motive of welfare of its member that means members welfare is taken care of in case of cooperative society it says it aims to protect and promote economic and social interest of its members cooperative society is registered against cooperative society act 1912 and its registration is mandatory as soon as it is registered it acquires a legal entity in cooperative society to start it minimum 10 adult members are required and the capital is raised through issue of shares and the shares are issued uh, are subscribed by its members now let's come to the features of cooperative society first is voluntary membership in case of cooperative society 18 years or above 18 years people can become its members and there should not be done any discrimination on the basis of religion, caste and gender. The members are, must have a common interest or a common purpose and the members are free to join and leave the cooperative society but before leaving they have to give a notice that they are leaving the cooperative society. Next is legal status. It is mandatory for the cooperative society to be registered under cooperative society act 1912 that's why the moment it, it is registered it enters into a legal status that means it has a separate legal entity as a result they can own property in its own name they can make contract they can sue and can be sued by others and the cooperative society is not affected by the entry and exit of its members third is limited liability that means that the uh, it is limited to the extent of the amount amount contributed that means the amount which has been subscribed as a share only that much they, the members are going to lose in case if there is any loss fourth is control control so control is in the hand of elected managing director in case of cooperative society it works on democratic pattern that is one man one vote so the elected managing director has the entire control of the cooperative society but he also listens to the opinions suggestions and problems of its members but ultimately decision is in the hand of elected managing director now last point is service motive that means the cooperative society's main aim is service motive and not profit maximization but in case during its operation if they are generating profit then in that situation the profit that means the dividend is shared in amongst the members thank you